Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys a daily general message here. So if you are interested in your own private reading as well as the link to my new book, Accepting the Gift, that's all about the paranormal, do check that out. The link is down below as well as the list of the, uh, in the description box for other readings. So let's get started. Going to pull 15 card spread again. People seem to like that. Thank you for commenting. It's always good to get some feedback here. You could be an earth sign here with this uh, queen of pentacles energy, but what I'm really feeling here is that you're trying to stay grounded. It has not been easy. I do feel that you are dealing with a uh, twin flame energy with that uh, high priestess here, but you're trying to stay strong with that strength card. Uh, kind of stay, staying grounded here, being happy, living your life, positive thoughts, okay? After things definitely came to an end, I feel in regards to communication, Absolutely. But I do feel that you are kind of not moving on. You're still thinking about this person, which is fine. You know, you're manifesting for them to come back and communicate with that Queen of Pentacles looking at that Ace of Swords here. Continue to stay strong, I just heard. Uh, but I feel that, yeah, work on you. They will be coming back. I literally heard they're going to wise up, okay? Uh, they miss you, okay? Uh, but a little bit of stubbornness of not so much communication-wise, but a little bit of stubbornness of opening up and explaining how much they do love you. You know, it takes a lot of encouragement. Uh, definitely even more so with that King of Cups water sign energy. Does not have to be. Uh, but it right above it is the Leo card of the Strength card here. So definitely they are going to stay strong too and improve their... Um, you know, their self-confidence in themselves. They're kind of frustrated because they realize what they have lost. You have the seven of wands right before the lover's card. Now you, that is again, twin flame energy. You could be dealing with uh, Gemini here. So what did they do? They stayed quiet with this four of pentacles. They were kind of stagnant here type of energy, did not communicate, but that will change. Now, they're making me subtract the Ten of Wands from the Eight of Wands. Underneath it, that's the Two of Wands. So they will be showing that decision of showing the action here of moving forward in your direction. Love it. Now, you do have the Power Couple. That's why I got excited. I love Power Couple energy here that, to me, is meant to be uh, a water sign here, uh, but doesn't really matter. The sign, I go by the energy. These two people, absolutely, you love each other. I feel what this is what this is saying is basically somebody got a little freaked out in their head, okay? Realized how strong their feelings were for you here. Uh, they do miss you. A little stubborn with opening up, okay? But they ha will have that inner strength, I feel, with that strength card present to open up. They're frustrated with their own selves because they know what they need to do. It's just taking that... Uh, action here to do so. Things are going to change with the death card here. That's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Yeah, all I know, right? We all don't like that expression, but all divine timing here. When the time is right, the time is right. And there he is. Uh, part of that twin flame is the emperor. Now you could be dealing with Aries energy too, but regardless, there's going to be a change with this situation. All boils down to the good old emperor, part of that twin flame. Now, this is soulmate energy. does not have to be, but there is going to be a re reuniting, a new start of balance with that ace of pentacles here. It's going to take some time to recoup, but also I'm feeling with this knight of cups, it's a long-lasting relationship. What's cool about this is that you have the knight of cups, king of cups. Uh, Queen of Cups. It's all in the happy family, you know, here. So you two are supposed to be together. It's going to take some time to, you know, reorganize things and talk things out, you know. Uh, but definitely keep manifesting. I feel that there's kudos involved here uh, for somebody out there uh, who is trying to stay balanced. Just reviewing, you know, what we're learning here uh, for staying balanced with this, seeing the light of the the truth of the matter, that they do love you here, that you're throwing that out there to the universe for them to take care of it, everything, and they will, and they see the light, they know what that, what has to be done, you know, but we all have free will, free choice with this emperor energy, 
he is also going or she is going to see that light as well. So all you can do really is just stay balanced with this, stay strong here. I do feel that there's a big time change coming up here uh, and there will be that communication because that's what you're manifesting. When we are calm and we're uh, thinking clearly, okay, and staying calm here, we can manifest and really push it out there, you know, and they do hear us, absolutely. All right, so let's go down in the down position. Uh, Ace of Swords, ju uh, Justice, and the Lovers here. There's going to be a new start of communication. It's bring in the balance and the love here. Queen of Pentacles, World, Four of Pentacles here. So I feel in a little way there's two different messages here. In order to regroup with your thoughts, your emotions here, uh, your energy, your balance here, you know, you have to kind of, you had to kind of like emotionally walk away from it if it meant that you stayed uh quiet towards them this was going to help bring in the balance here you know strength card king of cups queen of cups well hello didn't i say that uh both of you are going to have that strength you just keep hanging in there with that strength card for yourself if you are the female energy here the king of cups is going to have that inner strength to return is what i'm feeling uh, high Priestess, Four of Cups, and the Death card. So the High Priestess is a strong connection, yes. Uh, it is a part of a twi twin flame here as well. But she is also known as one of the unknown. And it makes a lot of sense with that Four of Cups right underneath it. I don't know if they're going to return. I don't know if they're going to ever talk to me again. If I'm ever going to see that Death card underneath all those two cards says everything's going to change. All that questionable you know, this twin flame is going to change here with the, I just heard production line. <laughs> okay, nicely said. So that's what I'm feeling with that. Three of cups, seven of wands, and the emperor. Emperor twin flame energy knows that, you know, things have to, you know, be stepped up. Okay, basically taking in charge because they reflect of how happy they used to be. They know, they know that they were wrong regardless, you know, no pointing fingers here, you know, uh, but definitely they know that they were wrong. They're frustrated with their own selves and now they have to work for it to get you back. And that's what I have. And for the outcome, really, this is just a gathering again, a new fresh start of balance coming in. It's going to take some time, you know, uh, for some <laughs> Uh, I can relate to this recently. Uh, for some, make sure you think before you speak. <laughs> I don't know what that is, so good luck to that. <laughs> Nothing ever computes before I speak. I just say it. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm like that. I get it. Uh, but anyway, I'm speaking the truth. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I have for whomever this is meant for. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. You guys rock. Have a good one. Don't forget to smash the like button as well as subscribe to the channel here. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.